Sir Philip Craven. The practice of sport can do a lot for society. The world needs to realize the value of individuals practicing sport and in particular Paralympic sport. Molly Hopkins. I swim like six times a week. It's fun. It keeps me fit and it gives me a chance to be like anybody else really. Molly dives into the pool. Paralympic sport gives people who may not see themselves as having a great future realizing that they do have a great future. And so it's great to see that young people are starting to discover what the world of Paralympic sport can do for them. Great Britain sprinter Johnny Peacock races down a track. It's going to be Peacock getting the goal. When I was a kid, I was just sport mad. Everything that all the other kids wanted to do, I wanted to do. Six-year-old Rio Wolf with his parents. We wanted to encourage him to just fulfill his potential like any parent does for their child. And when London 2012 came around, it really inspired him to get involved in sport. I want to be like Johnny Peacock. It's fantastic to see that. And once he got a really good blade and he could just run around, it just gave him that, that freedom that he didn't have before. And I think that's the most important thing for kids. It's not about, you know, trying to push them in and, and become the next Paralympic champion. It's just about getting them active. German mono skier Martin Braxenthaler. You know? Developing new talent and working with young people is extremely important because they're the athletes who will compete at the Paralympics of tomorrow. Molly van Rijn, this is a real surprise. When I was a child, I definitely didn't think that I would be this Paralympic champion. I didn't really know that it would come this far. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Marlou van Rijn is very inspirational to me because she's got the same disability. One day I'll definitely be as successful as Marlou. Yeah. Oh wow! It's so cool to see that the young children will also you know, follow these footsteps. That was a really fast one. Lean Kudenis. If there's one thing I would like to ask, it's calling on to the athletes of today to become the leaders of tomorrow. It's important to design your own destiny. We must remain athlete-centred, but the way we can do that is more and more athletes getting involved in the future of IPC. Sprinter Felix Strang. Rio 2016, that's a big goal for me. Skier Bjorn Benke. My ambition is Paralympics 2018 in Pyeongchang. I really want to get to the Paralympics. Tokyo 2020. I want to be a Paralympic champion. A female athlete runs down a track title, You Are the Movement, Sir Philip Craven. The movement is everybody out there in the world, you know, whether that's members of the International Paralympic Committee, whether that's fans. I think one of the greatest thrills is interacting with volunteers. This movement is growing and moving forward. We're not going to take over the planet, by the way, but some people might say we've come a long way, but really what's past is gone. I'm looking forward to the future. A montage of photographs of the athletes morphs into the International Paralympic symbol.